to a quick video on how to reformat your scores for presentation. So using Notefly, of course. At the moment, you're seeing a score that I have. It's just a sample score and it's currently in strip view. We need to change that to page view. When we do change it to page view, we can see that there is only three bars here. We have four bars here. Then we have to scroll again. Now this composition is at 100, so it's traveling at a reasonable tempo. So that's going to mean a lot of scrolling. All right, we want to try and avoid that if we can. We don't want to have too many scrollings going on. So what we do is we go up here, next to page view, you have formatting. Click on formatting and deal with just full score. Now none of these details need to change. We want to go to sizing. You'll see that the note size is currently six. Let's make that note size four. And you can see already we've got a lot more on the page. We don't actually even need to change anything else here. We don't need to change staff spacing. We don't need to change the system spacing because that looks pretty good on the page. The only thing is that um, the problem we have is that I actually want these two bars maybe up here or I want these two bars down here with this. So I perhaps want these four and then I maybe want another four. Now if that's what I want, then I have to now close formatting and I have to go over to layout. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. So if I click this bar here and I click this tool here, which says move below, nothing happens. All right. If I click it and it says move above, it's just simply moving the text. But if I go over here to page to uh, keep with next, it will actually align with the next bar. So if I want, oops, sorry, say I wanted this one to go with the next one, and I click that, you can see that it's gone down to the next line. If I click this one, oops, sorry, let's get rid of that. If I click this bar here and do the same thing, click with next or keep with next, it's taken it to, the, to that line. So that's one way I can do it. Another way I can do it. Bear with me while I get that back up there. Another way I can do this is I can actually click on this bar here and I can create a new system and it will bring it down to just one bar and then what I do is I use keep with next and it will align it together and now I've got four bars, four bars and I can scroll. I've then got my last five. So that puts my whole score on one page. Much easier to read. All right, so it's the layout tools you need and the formatting tools you need to make it um, a little bit more on the page to make less scrolling for your score submission.